jetzt für eine Keynote äh, Herrn Tetsunari Iida begrüßen zu können. Er kommt aus äh, Tokio, er ist Direktor des Instituts for Sustainable Energy Policies. Er ist äh, nicht nur einer der führenden Energieexperten des Landes, äh, Mitglied der Nationalen Kommission für Energiepolitik und Erneuerbare Energien, sondern eine der profilierten Stimmen, ähm, die sich kritisch mit der Atomenergie in Japan schon vor dem Unfall in Fukushima äh, auseinandergesetzt haben. Und wir freuen uns sehr, dass Sie, wir freuen uns sehr, dass Sie jetzt den Weg nach Berlin gefunden haben und uns aus erster Hand nicht nur Ihre Einschätzung dieses Unfalls und seiner Folgen geben können, sondern auch ein Bild von der öffentlichen Diskussion, von der öffentlichen Stimmung in Japan und der Frage, ob äh, der Unfall von Fukushima auch zu einem Wendepunkt in der japanischen Atom- und Energiepolitik führen wird. Herzlich willkommen. Thank you, Chairman. I'm very glad to be here to be invited, but I'm not so happy to be here for its reason, <laughs> because of a Fukushima disaster after the big earthquake and tsunami. I am uh, try to share with you the uh, kind of uh, the current atmosphere and the situations of uh, what's going on in Japan. Uh, this this. Uh, Earthquake was one of the historical, the, I, I guess, the, more, the biggest magnitude in Japanese history. But, uh, but afterwards, all, almost every day, the, the rather, rather big earthquake hit almost every day, even yesterday and the day before yesterday. And so uh, we are still uh, fearful next big earthquake hit another nuclear power plant. The, the earthquake was uh, that place, and the, the, this is uh, before the earthquake tsunami, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power sta station unit one through four. And then uh, soon after, uh, this is uh, March 16, so after explosions, hydrogen explosion, plant number one and number three. So uh, yeah, you can, you can see that. Uh, some pictures, and the, this is more closer, decent pictures. Unit number one and number three, and even number unit number four has no core, spent no, no spent fuel in the core, but the spent fuel pool was uh, storing rather fresh, uh, freshly take out, taking after the, the in order to the the rotative examinations. And also, uh, I should say stress, stress the, the unit number three, it just last, right after installed uh, the, the plutonium mo uh, mox oxide fuels uh, last, since last September? Yeah, sometime. So this is another angle of the, the same day uh, that is so this was uh, the hydrogen explosion pictures, uh, but I, I don't see the, some movies, but, but uh, I, I will skip the movie. And uh, then after, soon after the number, unit number three, also next explosion with big fires. So very, very I myself ne still never uh, close to the, that plant uh, after this uh, accident, but I, I try to be there the after coming back to Japan. So, so, and uh, right now, almost every day, those kind of uh, the, the water spray from the outside into the pool, and also uh, the, the fresh water uh, pull into the core from uh, the reactor number one through three. The almost every day, some news says uh, uh, today, right? New, new, 
the reactor number one, the core temperature seems now increasing, and uh, then uh, following days, core uh, reactor number two temperature is now increasing. So those kind of news over there, every day, everything, uh, the new kind of crisis news coming rush to almost every day. So uh, this is uh, the IAEA's uh, summary of uh, current, maybe uh, oh, this is uh, the April uh, 11th data. Maybe this is too detailed, uh, too detailed to, to read out. So the very much briefly summary uh, the from reactor number one through three, uh, four. The number four was uh, the core was vacant, but the spent fuel storage were very much the damaged because of uh, the maybe pool water was uh, the lost because of the damage of pool and the, the spent fuel was uh, damaged. And uh, reactor number one was right now, this is most, it, it is reported, uh, it is most severe situation right now is that uh, most of the spent fuel are supposed to be the out of waters and uh, the large amount, large portions are damaged, uh, maybe melting down. <coughs> uh, but they, and they are, uh, try to fill in the, but still keep keep filling the fresh water. But the fresh water is uh, uh, like that it is easy to vapors or leaking out. So the water is di difficult to uh, fill in out. And also reactor number two is also uh, they. Uh, the yesterday report that the temperature is now getting higher, uh, getting increased, maybe last night. And uh, some, these days uh, I have no news about reactor number three. But uh, maybe all, it is sold, all the, the, the pressure vessel and also the con con containment vessels are Braked the all the reactors from number one through three, so uh, the the both uh, leakage from the air and also uh, the water contaminations and the or soil contamination the into into the even into the sea is um, is continue and the so it is very uh, difficult work are uh, uh, keeping to just uh, spray into or pull into the waters and also heavy contaminated waters must be taken out in order to decover the, the pumping or con some kind of uh, waters, the circulations, but no one believes the if we can succeed, the contaminated water taking out the, the, the pumping worked enough or the, the containment over the cooling waters uh, cannot, cannot work anymore. So um, uh, the new device, uh, I have heard the inside the the cabinet office, a uh, new kind of, new, some kind of a containment method using um, melting, melting uh, the metals or some some kind of new method must be need in order to uh, the stopping the 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 leaking the highly contaminated water. Uh, from the, these zero reactors. So, uh, so far, reactor number five and six are uh, some uh, the stable conditions, but not not so. And this is the same, and uh, this is the same data say summary. And uh, I, I will try to share that this material data on, and you can find and the, the from. The uh, 
11th March, uh, the earthquake happened uh, 1446. Then all AC power lost, and the ECCS uh, working failure right after. So those kind of cities are uh, almost ev the the new new kind of crisis are uh, happening all, almost every day. Everything and hydrogen explosions was reactor number one is about 12 March and the the hydro another hydrogen explosion was uh, reactor number three was uh, 14th March. The, all the experts, so-called nuclear experts, says before the hydrogen experts, the, the, no, no one mentioned about those kind of ac accident will happen. So, so all the experts inside team are, it is supposed to be the rather optimistic view, optimistic view about the situation, but the things are getting more worse and worse. So, so things are very much complicated. All the unit, uh, new, new phenomena, phenomena coming up, and some uh, like a plutonium has already detected uh, 28th of March outside the Fukushima Daiichi plant. So uh, it's a kind of a, the it's obviously the spent fuels. Uh, are partly melting and explode outside the reactor's site. And the, uh, <coughs> and there are some monitoring uh, around the reactors. The, the, this, this is, uh, uh, this blue line was, uh, The main gate, main gate is, uh, yeah, it's uh, some, yeah, some, some. So the data is uh, not so the continuously the monitors are some, but uh, this ad administration building's north is most close to the reactors, and also main gate and west gate is rather uh, apart from the reactors. So this blue line, uh, the is a main gate, is the most high highest. So days are rather fifteenth and sixteenth. This is uh, due to uh, the bent from uh, each reactors. Like uh, number four, each peak has a thank you, <laughs> thank you, Michael. Yeah. So, so each peak has uh, some uh, reasons of a kind of release of the, the larger uh, active material or fission product from the, the reactors. So this is a fast explosion, hydrogen explosion peak. And uh, maybe this, around, this peak, uh, because of uh, reactor number three hydrogen explosion and some, this peak Due to from the reactor number four fires, and the yeah, and the so so many times uh, pressure release from the reactor or because of the explosions, uh, obviously release a huge amount of uh, the nuclear or fissile material from the reactors. Then uh, the data is not available since then, that, that, that place. Then another place data, this is, uh, yeah. This is uh, admission buildings, more close to the reactors. And this is a west gate, yeah. 
So maybe rather compatible with data is is supposed to be connecting this part. So 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 this data is changing this 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 part of data right after. So this is more long longer time. Uh, recently is rather decreasing, but still complete high high level of course. <laughs> so not so big event since, since these days. But, and, uh, and the sea waters uh, contaminations, uh, what's up this? Yeah. And the, especially the reactor number two is supposed to be leaking in directly into sea waters. So, oops. So, so some, some, Data around sea waters uh, monitors the so what's the part um, yeah this is uh, just right after the the reactors the discharge screen unit number two yeah. And uh, this is uh, red and blue uh, sea waters monitors the some becquerel per cubic cent centimeters. So, <coughs> so maybe okay. And the, the more radiation around the data. Oops. And this is a. Uh, the so-called speed, uh, the Japanese government, the system for prediction environment. Mm -hmm. The name is speed, but this is first disclosed. It was 23rd of March. It's a, almost two weeks after the accident. So, uh, and the, partly because no one calculate, I, I guess no one calculate first week. And the, the la last week, uh, latter week, uh, the government uh, very much hesitate to disclose the data. So, so this system, this speedy system has never worked effectively or timing, a good timing. But instead, uh, like uh, maybe you, you, you must all know the, those kind of international uh, data was available. And also uh, NRDC, I, I didn't find any kind of those uh, estimations in, inside Japan that I, I put from, I, I took from NRDC calculation. This is Ibaragi and Tokyo. Tokyo is here and Ibaragi is next to Fukushima. It's uh, according to our kind of major data. So, so this kind of uh, those uh, estimated from the so so this is then uh, I'm not so well uh, prepared for the but uh, the this accident was happening of of course triggered by big earthquake and tsunami but. Uh, <coughs> more inherent cause was uh, human and organization and policy errors. That, that means the, of course, the, the first day's management, like uh, loss of powers or ECCS, <coughs> the trouble or those kind of things. But more, more inherently, the Japanese nuclear community has uh, uh, never seriously considered our earthquake risk like uh, we, we had uh, the earthquake hit four years before directly to another typical nuclear power site, Kashiwazaki carrier directory. The, even at that time, was, uh, some part was heavily damaged. And the, the even, even those earthquake hit, the nuclear safety, the commissions has has it was very much by happening. It's under the 
the revision of uh, safety standard for earthquake, but the Nuclear Safety Commission has never considered the reconsider the nuclear safety the standard for against uh, the like uh, this kind of earthquake risk. Then then the nuclear safety commissions or I should say NISA or the it's another very unique political cultures. Uh, the government are two split the in charge of electric industries, nuclear and also governmental nuclear. The, the NISA is in charge of electric industries. They, they approved the, the Fukushima Daiichi uh, nuclear power plant safety according to new safety standards of the, the seismic or earthquake risk, including tsunami. It's only even two years before, the Ju July 2009, so they review of the safety standard of Fukushima Daiichi plant, and they approved. Uh, even, even at that time, the public comment are uh, exactly the same risk pointing out to the government, but they neglect those kind of uh, cautions. And also, right now, the situation is still going worse and worse. The very much complex and chaotic initiative, like, uh, I, I, I don't, I, I don't, translate, <laughs> but uh, this is uh, prime ministers and uh, all the politicians try to lead in some, some part of the initiative to control the accident and they also uh, they order to and also support by NISA is, uh, where is the NISA? Is, uh, Oops, no NISA, but anyway. So there is somewhere in NISA is supposed to su support, support to uh, the cabinet office, but the NISA is, of course, the, the cent they must be the center of our nuclear safety regulation, but they never take initiative. And also they order to recover directly to TEPCO and TEPCO is, very, is back up the, the industries. So very much complex initiative uh, to, to recover the accidents. So, oops. And also very much poor performance of Japanese nuclear the, in science, in engineering. So uh, I will argue later on, on the panel discussion in the Jap all, almost every day, the nuclear expert inside the government says very much the optimistic view almost every day, but the situation is almost much worse than their views. The situation is almost the, uh, the, the, the advice was very much the afterwards uh, to the, the things are worse and then uh, try to recover Afterwards, then things worse. Those kind of the uh, process was going very, very, very much the serious. The last ten days, the more more like uh, more U.S. DOE and NRC is more officially commit inside the the team. Then now, kind of more more proactive actions uh, was was made. But until then, it was very much the deactive action was made. So, so far, no solution to, to the things, uh, the contamination or the radioactive fission product emissions to try to, how to end closing and also how to settle down this event. So, the the recently government says rather optimistic to we can cope with within several months. But uh, most of the experts, including me, regard it takes more, more some, even some years to, to end closing and settling down. But, but so far, no, the firm device to, to, to uh, conclude somehow they stop this event. So we, we need very urgent 
action to build up more international consortium to to research, demonstrate, and mock up to stop and those kinds of real-time research must be needed. And uh, we, we propose the very five urgent strategy the, to the directly to the cabinet to uh, so we need a uh, kind of strategic accident management to uh, and also we need a uh, more real-time monitoring the spreading out around the Fukushima. So there are very poor data available so far. And also we need a more uh, integrated investigation of the accident the, for preparing for the sink or deform the energy and nuclear policy and institutions. And then some deform of nuclear safety irrigation institutions and the construction of life and economy of disasters areas and also energy policy and nuclear policy and institution must be formed. So this is just my, our proposal to the cabinet office. So this is another topics, but rather urgent uh, topics other than nuclear. So the huge power station were damaged, both Tokyo areas and also Tohoku areas. Uh, we are very power shows, power uh, supply is very, this, power shortage with the supply. So until, until now it was a very rotative blackout was made in order to, to keep up the, uh, try to cut the demand uh, according to supply. And, but right now that we discussed the government to, uh, of course, including saving and we, we using uh, <coughs> demand control of the each contract, or each large uh, large scale, the customers, to, uh, we can we can cope with uh, this power shortage, the, even this spring and also this summers uh, supplies somehow increasing, but demand is much higher than spring. The, but we can still cope with without any uh, new new power plant or new new uh, power built. So, so this is, uh, and also the new reality of Japan, Japanese nuclear power's capacity. Uh, if we, we stop the 40 years lifetime uh, before earthquake is uh, something like this, this curve. So the Fukushima number one plant was just 40 years lifetime. But the right after the earthquake, and including some possible the stop of other kind of rather risky nuclear power like Hamaoka. And so right now, nuclear power capacity is something 24, 25 gigawatt. Then uh, we, we can decrease around to 40 years lifetime this, like that. And also, if we can stop all the nuclear by 2020, the power curve is like that. Best would be the best. Yeah, yeah, best is right. all the shutdown right now. <laughs> so maybe we can manage the nuclear power capacity within, under this red line or this white line or, or all shutdown right now. So uh, even even the conservative party uh, says uh, our views: no nuclear uh, additional uh, additionally construct uh, furthermore. So uh, this is a rather consensus, broad consensus. So uh, so we we can survive. Maybe we can work with less than this red line. So but we propose very schematic view, but uh, we have a more, more detailed data mean background. So if nuclear is uh, naturally 30% to 10% by 2020, or we can fade out by 2020, so nuclear can maybe 30% supply by 2020, and also we can use uh, so-called megawatt by 20% by 2020. So somehow we can cope, 
both uh, in com concerning with the climate risk and the energy risk as well. And maybe by 2050, we can both renewable and energy efficiency su can supply 100% Japanese electricity. So uh, this is a kind of a proposal for a discussion in the Japanese a new, new energy and nuclear agenda. So this is a kind of start of our discussions, right? So uh, uh, this is the last slide. Uh, Fukushima is a very historical worst. Was, uh, this is the same argument. So anyhow, anyhow, uh, Japanese nuclear community was uh, the something. I, I, I used, I originally working inside Japanese industry and also nuclear safety commissions and also in an electric industry of nuclear divisions first 10 years of my career. Uh, it is something like a Hollywood Japanese nuclear community. It uh, looks like a Japanese high-tech, most advanced country, but inside the Japanese community is very poor performance. Uh, it's very hierarchical and very the poor top, top level management and it's, so those kind of mixtures. So the, this is very obvious. You can see the, the poor management after the ac accident. The Japanese government, Japanese industry, industry cannot handle those kind of crisis situations. And also then now big change must be initiated politically like uh, nuclear policy or electric structure. We, we Japan still, Jap electric industry is very much monopolized, regional monopoly, and also the functional monopoly, and also political monopoly. They are very much the, the monopolized uh, both LDP and DPJ through the industry uh, and also through the unions. So, so this big accident, uh, the fortunate out of uh, unfortunate, the, this kind of political culture might be broken up. So, but still, no, no big debate has uh, come up with because crisis is still going on. So, but under the scene that a lot of debate is has now already started. So, then the third point that we. We cannot see any positive direction to how to cope this situation. This is again, I, we, we need a very dear kind of the international excellence, excellence consortium to cope with this situation. So the, so far government has co almost no idea to cope the situation. So, so we, we need a kind of dear kind of a, the support from international nuclear community. Thank you for. Herzlichen Dank, Mr. Ida. Ich denke, das war eine sehr beeindruckende Darstellung nicht nur des Verlaufs und der unmittelbaren Auswirkungen dieses atomaren Unfalls, sondern der tieferen Ursachen. Es wird ja bei uns in der öffentlichen Diskussion sehr oft eine, diese Katastrophe ausschließlich als Folge des Tsunamis, also Erdbeben plus dieser riesigen Flutwelle dargestellt. Und ich denke, aus Ihrem Vortrag ist deutlicher geworden, dass es sich dabei auch um ein Versagen von industriellen und politischen Strukturen handelt ein komplettes Scheitern von Unfallvorsorge und Risikomanagement. Und damit, ich fand den Begriff sehr, sehr treffend, auch um eine Krise einer bestimmten industriellen und politischen Kultur in Japan. 
Und ich denke nicht nur, vielen Dank, und ich denke nicht nur äh, in Japan, sondern das ist auch ein Menetikel äh, für andere Länder, die vor einer solchen Verkettung von äh, Krisen, die dann zu solchen katastrophalen Unfällen führen, nicht geschützt sind.